Hey everyone, and welcome to the third episode of our Java OpenGL game development tutorial series. Uh, if you remember last time, we got our nifty little window to display whenever we run the project. Looks like that. But it goes away. You'll notice it just disappeared. And it's not in my dock, uh, so it, it disappears after after it's created. Um, that's perfectly normal, don't worry if, if yours is doing that. Um, what we need to do is we need to add a GL event listener. What I'm going to do here is in org.graphics, I'm going to create a new class, and I'm going to call this event listener. Something simple. I'm going to say that it implements GL event listener. Import that and add unimplemented methods. The methods you're going to need. Uh, in case you don't have that feature for add un unimplemented methods, uh, as you can see, a, dis a method called display, a method called dispose, a method called init, and a method called reshape. All of these take a GL auto drawable as a parameter. And the last one also takes four integers uh, as parameters after the GL auto drawable. That's basically all you're going to need to know uh, about those for now. I'm going to go ahead and clean this code up a little bit, get rid of some of this automatically generated nonsense. Okay. Um, I like to call this drawable in all of those methods. And as for the integers, they're called x, y, width, and height, respectively. And basically, in here is where all of our OpenGL stuff is going to happen. In it is called when the uh, whole OpenGL thing is set up. It's called once. Um, dispose is called when it ends. It's called once also. Display is going to be called every single frame. Like every time we render uh, the window, this is what's going to be called. So we're going to put all our display code in there. Reshape is called when you resize the window uh, or reshape the window uh, if you change the aspect ratio also. Um, we'll deal with that later on. Actually, we'll deal with most of these later on. Right now, we just want to add the GL event listener here. And the way we do that is we add uh, to our little window setup code in the renderer class, window.addGLEventListener. And we want to give it uh, an event listener. For right now, we'll just say new event listener, the name of our class. And that should work without importing because they're in the same package. Um, so we've got new event listener. To prove that it's working, in event listener in the init method, go ahead and add a system.out.println hello world. And that should print out to the console once at the very beginning of the application. And it does. Now, um, to prove that no, no, now you'll notice display is not being called though. If I copy this and paste it into display and then try and run it, it's called once and once only because display is only called once the window displays the first time, but it's not being called as a loop. And the reason for that is because we don't have any kind of rendering loop set up. It doesn't automatically render. There's a couple ways that we can do that. I'll show you a way to get a really quick um, a, a really fast rendering loop setup. I'm going to say FPS animator, we'll call it animator, equals new FPS animator. I'm going to import that, and it takes as parameters, it takes the thing that we want it to, uh, this FPS animator basically calls uh, rendering functions on something. We need to give it a thing to call rendering functions on, and that's our window. And it also takes the number of frames per second we want, which is 60 for now. So the window and 60. And then animator.start. And this starts it off as another thread. And it uh, in this other thread, it will loop and it will render our window for us. So if we were to run this now, our window would start up and it wouldn't go away, you'll notice. It doesn't quit like it did before. That's because we're actually now using it. So it doesn't automatically dispose. Um, you'll notice nothing happens. Oh, okay, so it does. 
you know, some of these things surprise me as well because I never quite, I, I, I always just go ahead and add a, um, add an action listener to handle the window closing event. So I don't, didn't know that it actually uh, closed the window, which is pretty cool. Um, so FPS animator, animator equals new FPS animator, window 60. That gets us our little rendering loop. Here in the event listener class in the display method, I'm gonna go ahead and add that system.out.print line again, and you'll see that it appears in the console repeatedly. That's because we're in a rendering loop now. Now whenever I quit, we get some errors because I didn't really properly shut anything down. The animator is still running, and, it's, and it shouldn't be. So right here in Dispose, I'm going to... And no, we'll, we'll handle that later because we're not even going to use the FPS animator if we can help it. We're going to use a different... We're going to create our own game loop. Um, that's going to be much better than just the FPS animator. Uh, so that's pretty much all we've got for this tutorial. If you like this uh, video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I want to thank you very much for watching and subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Alright, bye.